it's here. It's finally here. The ATM Mini Pro. In this video, we're going to talk about this new device that just arrived in the mailbox. We're going to unbox it and walk through the features and why I actually needed this device, not just wanted, but actually needed this device. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Monty Weaver and I'm a digital strategist helping you leverage the power of digital and social media. And in this video, we're going to look at this mini switcher device. If you are trying to level up your live streaming or your video in general, this is a device that you'll definitely want to look into. Now, this is the second version of this device. There is an ATM mini, but this is actually the ATM mini pro version. So this has some more features and this is why I waited to get this specific version. So let's unbox this thing and take a look at it. All right, so it comes with a manual. Of course, you always want to go through, you want to check out the manuals and go through any of this to make sure that you're actually using your devices and your technology in the proper way. And if you have questions, always the best place to go is into the manual first. All right, let's see what's actually in this box here. All right, looks like power adapters. All right, so we actually got our power adapter. Now, the one thing I really love about this particular uh, device here is that this power adapter actually has a screw in, so it doesn't just easily fall out. If somebody walks past and accidentally trips over it, uh, this actually screws into the back of the ATM Mini Pro. And then we have uh, additional power adapters for different countries, so um, you can definitely use this wherever you are in the world. And finally, the actual device itself. This thing has a nice little weight to it too. I think uh, it, it feels definitely sturdy coming out the box. This thing it is not cheap at all. This thing feels like it has some quality built behind it. So let's first talk about why I actually needed this device. Now, currently I have a two camera setup and you're only seeing a one camera setup for this particular video because there's definitely going to be more videos about this device as I get it all set up with my station. But this device really allows you to have multiple cameras input at the exact same time. And it really saves you when it comes to your, your workspace, when it comes to trying to plug in all your cameras physically into your computer. Now currently what I do is I use these cam link devices and these allow you to turn your DSLR camera, your mirrorless cameras into webcams and easily connect into your computer. So these are great devices. But the problem comes in is when you have multiple cameras. So, you know, you could buy multiple devices like this, but if you're using the exact same device that has this functionality, there's problems with it being recognized on your computer because a lot of these computers do not like the exact same device. It's hard for it to determine which device is which. So you'll find yourself buying multiple versions and types and of this same type of device to actually get the job done. But this ATM Mini Pro eliminates that problem. So rather than paying for four or five of these things, you can actually just buy this device to accomplish the same goal and it helps you stay decluttered in your overall workspace. So, you know, in all transparency, I bought this device with my own money, waited on Amazon, waited during the whole COVID situation to get this device. So super excited, now it's finally here. Now let's actually take a look at the device and what it's capable of doing. So on the very back here, we have two microphone inputs here. This will allow you to bring in two separate audio channels directly into the ATM Mini Pro and actually control the volume being turned on and turned off. You have four HDMI inputs. So this allows you to bring in four HDMI external sources. So this can be cameras, this can be monitors, this can even be your iPad, which is one of the devices that I'm gonna actually bring into this uh, ATM mini switcher here. So you can actually bring in four different inputs 
And then as we go out, we have an HDMI output. This is gonna allow you to preview all your different sources that are coming in. And this is really why I waited for this particular version to come out, is to be able to see all four of my sources ahead of time and have a preview. And then our USB out is a mini USB that turns any of your input sources into an actual webcam that can be recognized in different platforms such as Zoom or OBS, vMix, Wirecast, whatever platform you actually want to use for your output. And then we have our controller ethernet connection so you can actually live stream just from this device alone. Uh, if you want it to and it allows you to easily connect to your internet and be hardwired in so and then of course you, you definitely need power so you can power it on easily so this is the back end of it take a look and now let's take a look at the top of it now as we look at the ATM Mini Pro we can actually see how easy this layout actually is so across the very top we'll notice our microphone one and our microphone two settings that allow us to easily turn it on, turn it off, and adjust the volume up and down. And then as we look down at the bottom, we have our four inputs, one, two, three, and four. Same here, allows us to turn it on, turn it off, uh, auto view as well, and change settings with inside each four inputs. And then we have our still and our black. And then continuing across the bottom, we're able to cut and have our different effects for transitions. And right above the cut, we can change the duration of our transitions. We can change the effect of our transition. So a slide out effect, a come down effect. So there's different effects in here. We'll see this in the additional tutorials that I actually do for this device. And then we can also look at the very right hand side where we can see our video outputs. So we can output either one particular input, any one of the four, or we can look at the whole entire program and preview of all the devices coming in at one time, which is how I'm primarily going to use this device to keep an eye on all four different inputs simultaneously. At the very top, we can do picture in picture. So we can have one image on input one, for example, and then another image showing a picture in picture of what's showing on section two and you can easily turn these on and off with the on off button. Chroma key built in here as well, on off button for chroma keys. And we also have the ability to record out of the Blackmagic device here and actually control the recordings using start and stop. And finally, over on the far right hand side, we can actually go live directly to platforms such as YouTube and Facebook directly from this device. And we can control our stream by turning it on and off as well. So this is just a generic overview unboxing of the new ATM Mini. This is a device I'm really looking forward to using with definitely a lot more tutorials to come. And that's a quick look at the ATM Mini Pro. This is an easy device that you can not only incorporate into your existing workflow and your workspace, but it's so small and compact that you can actually take this with you. So if you're doing a live conference and you want multiple camera angles, if you're running a church production and you want multiple camera angles, you can definitely use a device like this to eliminate you from having to use a whole bunch of these devices. So definitely, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you want to see some tutorials, different ways of actually using this particular device, and if you want to learn more about digital and tech, my name is Monty Weaver. I hope you got some value from this video and I'll see you on the next one.